Teacher Appreciation Week may be over, but we're still highlighting some of our most spirited educators. Chief Seattle International High School's in-school barbershop is helping students reach their career goals while building a culture of connection. Plus, we're celebrating Amazon Future Engineer Scholarship winners, and we'll introduce you to the new school board members. All this and more, coming up on First Bell. This is Miles Adams, defensive end for the Seattle Seahawks, and you're watching First Bell. What's up, SPS? I'm Tracy Nelson, a second grade teacher at West Woodland Elementary. And I'm Sarah Martin, the Activities Coordinator at Chief Seattle International High School. Thanks for tuning in to First Bell, where we chime in with news from around the district. Sarah and I were invited to host the show because we have something special in common. She has been wearing her school colors every day for 11 years. And to help teach her students about shapes and patterns, Tracy has been wearing stripes every Tuesday for 20 years. How cool is that? We are so excited for this opportunity to host this episode of First Bell because we get to highlight some of our amazing colleagues. Teacher appreciation is only one week, but we love our teachers all the year round. We've got lots of awesome stories to share, so let's get into it. School spirit can manifest in many ways. Dressing up on spirit days, being excited to come to work, building relationships with students. The possibilities are endless. The teachers you nominated for Most Spirited all embody these qualities. Francis Lynn has more on these incredible educators. We were looking for some of the most spirited teachers around the district, and your nominations did not disappoint. You sent us beautiful notes singing the praises about teachers, assistant principals, librarians, instructional assistants, and more. Meet some of Seattle Public Schools' most spirited teachers. Spirit to me is just being, being real, loving people, um, saying hi, getting excited, being stupid and goofy, and, um, and loving Lincoln because I just, it's, it's community. It's great. It's, it's one of those jobs where you just go and you do and you try to do right by, you know, the entire student body and have a little fun in the process. And to hear that someone recognizes that is, it's wonderful. I think school spirit means to me just being um, immersed in the work that we do here at Thornton Creek and in the program um, and uh, putting a lot of energy into that, putting all the energy I can into what happens in the classroom and in our building and in our program. You don't always hear how your impact on kids and um, so I think above all like uh, that makes me feel like what I want to create is a place where kids want to be, where they feel welcome, where they feel safe. And so um, if that spirit, then that is the, that's my, the, my, my kind of spirit. We salute all of our teachers who have touched the lives of students or made an impact on their school community. Our students are incredibly lucky to have educators like these guiding them on their quest to becoming their best selves. This is Francis Lynn reporting for First Bell. Back to the studio. Chief Seattle International High School has found an innovative way to help students connect while working to reach their career goals, thanks to a couple of staff members who have turned an old supply closet into a community hub. Michael Joy Ayer has the story. At Chief Seattle International, they've created a space where students can get haircuts while others practice their barbering skills. Shannon Gilio Tenen is a social worker at Chief Seattle and said the school's community closet had become a dumping ground for unwanted clothing and supplies. With the help of a colleague, they converted the space into something more cutting edge, a fully functioning barber shop. The school uses the barber shop as a resource for students before big events like school dances or holiday breaks, times when they're most likely in need of a trim. The space is open to families, too. Education's great. There's always places to learn. There's not always places to feel welcome. The barber shop has helped build stronger connections with students who may be struggling academically or with attendance. Builds relationships and inroads with those students, with this community. It just makes things all the better. I mean, it really is a hub for the community. Under the guidance of seasoned barbers, students are getting a chance to hone their skills while cultivating a sense of responsibility and pride. One trim at a time. I'm Michael Joy Ayer reporting. Back to the studio. Seven SPS students received the surprise of a lifetime when they were awarded a $40,000 scholarship. The Amazon Future Engineer Scholarship is awarded to students who plan to study computer science or engineering after high school. The award also comes with a paid internship at Amazon after their freshman year of college. The award winners attend Chief Seattle International, Cleveland STEM, Franklin, Garfield, and Lincoln High Schools. 
The Seattle School Board appointed Sarah Clark and Joe Mizrahi to the District 2 and 4 director positions. The seats became open in February when their predecessors resigned. The new members were sworn in on April 4th in front of district leaders and families. You don't want to miss these important announcements. Get ready for the rundown. SPS is working to build a system of well-resourced schools. This month, families are invited to join an informational meeting. Be on the lookout for emails with details on meeting locations, dates, and times. The SPS Summer Music Program is a way for students to continue their music learning during the summer months. This program is designed for students entering grades 5 through 9. There's one requirement though. Students must have played an instrument for at least one year. All right, kids. It's time to start looking for those chargers. All SPS electronic devices, which includes laptops, chargers, and Wi-Fi hotspots, need to be returned at the end of the school year. A fine will be applied to student accounts if the device or accessory is not returned. And don't forget, all schools and the district office will be closed on Monday, May 27th in observance of Memorial Day. When we return, there will be only four weeks left of school. That's it for this episode. Be sure to tune in next month when we bring back some of our favorite student anchors. You don't want to miss it. If you want to learn more about these stories, visit our website. And be sure to subscribe to our newsletter, School Beat, where you can read more about all the great things happening in our schools. Until next time, I'm Sarah Martin. And I'm Tracy Nelson. We'll catch you later for First Bell.